Hi everyone and welcome to Whangarei. It's about two hours north of Auckland and we've come out today to Whangarei Falls. Let's check it out. The falls here in Whangarei are 26 metres high. The colours, the noise, the environment, not far from Whangarei Township. You need to come out here and see this. It's stunning. I know there's beautiful waterfalls in the world, but this is pretty spectacular. These falls were formed over four million years ago with a whole lot of volcanic activity. Finally, it's left all its scouring and all of its basalt are behind, and this was one of the results. You can find these falls by coming to Whangarei, a couple of hours north of Auckland, and then it's about three to four kilometres from the town centre heading north. Well signposted. from the falls if you do the loop track is this beautiful canopy walkway. It is over the Waikuramiko stream and it came in by cable, hard yards by hand and helicopter workers with walkie-talkie slung from a wire built this beautiful canopy. 100 meters of steel rod is holding this all together. The spans are braced at 5 meter spacings, 11 at the stream, uh, by hundreds of bolts and a match of washers and nuts. It was no mean feat, I hear. So near the falls is a couple of loop tracks you can do on, on one called the Elizabeth Track. Yeah, this has been a very populous place to visit Whangarei Falls since about 1890. So over 130 years people have been coming to here. I wonder why. You can just look behind me and, and see what the attraction is, of course. So it's a nice, easy formed track. If it's raining, it's probably going to be a bit slippery, but it's certainly well worth the visit here to Whangarei Falls. Thanks for watching. Back soon with another episode.